Hey, it's Queen Elsa Haru, and thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell. So I was talking to an Aquarius and she, um, I'm sorry, I was talking to a woman who's getting ready to move in with an Aquarius and she's a Sag and she wanted me to tell her what is it like to live with an Aquarius. So stay tuned, listen up. If you want to know what it's like to live with me, here's the tea. <laughs> First of all, I'm going to give it to, I'm going to just give you the general kind of things, you know. Um, first and foremost, if you live within Aquarius, um, Aquarius have a lot of eccentric behavior, things like nude sunbathing, walking around naked, painting naked, uh, being up at weird hours of the day and night, uh, maybe drinking vodka at 10 a.m. <laughs> you know, we don't really beat by the drum of everybody else. So some of our behaviors when you live with us are considered to be eccentric because they're not like everybody else. So most people start drinking at like five o'clock. Most people sleep at a certain time. Most people have on clothes. You know, a lot of the things that most people do, Aquarius don't do or might not do them all. So your Aquarius could very well do any of those things. Like I said, they could be having a drink at 10 a.m., rolling their eyes at you like, mm. <laughs> you know? Um, they could be new sunbathing on the porch when you wake up mo one morning. Um, they could be drinking out the carton <laughs> in the refrigerator. Um, Aquarius are always doing something considered to be eccentric. Um, I'm always putting like uh, witchcraft <laughs> in the freezer because certain spells you put in the freezer. So I used to have all this witchcraft in the freezer. So if you live with somebody like what the hell is all this in the freezer, you know? So it's a lot of different eccentric behaviors that can happen depending upon who the Aquarius is. And it's kind of nature versus nurture at that point. Um, likewise, Aquarius have a tendency to be uh, a disorganized mess because a lot of us are organized in our mind, but it may not be organized to you, you know? Um, I often have lived with people and maybe like, how do you know where your stuff is? And I know where everything is and they can't find nothing. So... Some people will say that we're not as organized, but we are. <laughs> you just don't understand our organization system. Some people call it sloppy. We call it creative. So some of uh, Aquarius are like that. You may get that from some of us. Um, the Aquarius will either be not home a lot or always home. If the Aquarius is not home a lot, like when I was working for the school district, I was never home. I used to work and then I had things to do after school and then I'd be meeting somebody. Sometimes I ain't come rolling in until really late, you know? So um, I was never home during those days for like about 10 years. I was hardly ever at my house. And likewise, now I'm always home. So the Aquarius is usually on one end of the spectrum or another. They're usually busy, out buzzing, socializing, working, doing things. Um, or they may be in the house like I am now working from home. So you're in the house and you're busy, but you're always in the house. Likewise, the Aquarius is almost always busy. Even if they're in the house, the Aquarius is almost always busy with something. We all have things we're interested in. That's why I said we don't all we don't generally get bored because we generally have interest at hobbies, something on YouTube, um, books to read. We usually have some type of interest, some type of things that we're into. So if we're not working and we're not dealing with our family issues, we might be talking to our friends on the phone. Most of us have things going on. We're mostly busy often. I've met a lot of busy Aquarius. It's very, I've never met a, a non-busy Aquarius. Now that I think about it, I've never met one. There might be some out there, but I've never met one. Loud music. <laughs> when I was a young girl, I used to blast my music. I mean, blast this. I mean, the whole place would be shaking from the bass of my music. You know, um, I used to love that. Now I listen to it with headphones, so I don't blast music anymore. But a lot of Aquarius love music, either blasting it, listening to it on headphones, getting lost in it, 
We just love music. And the good thing is that most people like music. So generally, that's not the problem. The problem is, is that the Aquarius has a tendency to have eclectic taste with music. I don't really like hip-hop and rap music that much. It's certain songs I love and certain ones, uh. My playlist is only 5% of that. The rest of my playlist, the bulk of it, is love songs. Babyface, Pebbles, Luther Vandross, Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston, and we talking old school love songs. Um, Chicago, uh, Krista Berg, Lady in Red, um, Up Where We Belong, uh, I got a song called Season of the Witch by Donovan that I play on like repeat. Um, it's a whole bunch of just different songs, but they're mostly like Eric Clapton. Um, it's all stuff from 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. It's all really old stuff. Even old Beyonce when she was with Destiny's Child, you know. Um, I have a lot of old eclectic taste in music. So that was always a big problem with my lovers. So it is very common for an Aquarius to have unusual musical tastes. Um, I like to listen to African drum beats. Um, I like some international music. I like a little bit of everything, but a lot of things that I like are not things that are contemporary, not modern, not mainstream. So if you are with somebody who's into the mainstream thing and you're not, that could cause a clash. And for me, it caused a lot of clashes. So now it's not a problem because again, now I'm into headphones, but back then I was into blasting my music, you know, and to feel it. And my lovers wasn't feeling it. <laughs> People that lived with me wasn't feeling it. My husband hated it. Hated it. He used to always complain about that. One time my husband, my ex-husband, met the woman that I was living with. This was like years later. And he said to her, is she still playing that same music? And the, the girl was like, oh. <laughs> So they both were like totally in agreement with that. And I thought it was so funny. But um, yeah, the music could be an issue depending upon where you fall into that. The Aquarius needs to be alone. The Aquarius needs space to recharge. So you're living together. You're obviously going to have dinner together or spend time together. Don't be hurt if the Aquarius wants some time alone. We got to recharge like that. So if your Aquarius wants to listen to music and lay in the bed and sip rum while you watch TV in the other room, that's fine. Give your Aquarius time sometimes to themselves. I'm not saying give them all their time to themselves because mind you, they're busy. So they're going to have to divide up their time and make sure you're getting some of it too. And they will. If they like you and care about you, they will. But don't be all over them to the point where they can never do anything by themselves. They can never recharge by themselves because it'll make them not want to be with you anymore. They're going to start to feel smothered. And once an Aquarius starts to feel smothered, then it, eh, it doesn't go well after that. And the last one, sex, 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 sex. A lot of Aquarius, not all of us, but many of us will wear that tail out. <laughs> you hear me? Ow. One of the things I was always accused of was wanting too much sex. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. I think it was fine. But I was told that repeatedly, so it's got to be some truth to it somewhere. So I had to admit that to myself. But basically, a lot of us constantly want to indulge in sex. It's one of the ways we bond, actually. It's not really a bad thing. The more sex the Aquarius has with you, the more they bond with you. It's actually a good thing. But some people who aren't that into it are like, oh, my God, again? Like, we just had sex yesterday, you know? Again, you know? And it just depends on the person. Some Aquarius want sex every day, several times a day. So... So if your Aquarius wants a lot of sex, a lot of weird sex, wild sex, sex with the lights on, sex with whipped cream, sex in the laundry room, <laughs> sex in the living room, sex in the bathroom. You know, if your Aquarius wants a lot of sex, kinky sex, frequent sex and different places and different themes and costumes and everything else. I just saw a, uh, a Harry Potter, <laughs> a Harry Potter costume. And I was like, oh, that is so sexy, you know? So if your Aquarius is like that and you're not like that, then y'all have to look at one of my other videos where I discussed, 
what two people can do when their sex drives don't match. <laughs> you know, you have to work that out basically. But if you're okay with it, then that won't be a problem. But it is very common for the Aquarius to be accused of wanting too much sex. I've heard that from several Aquarius, male and female. So that may occur. If you're into sex, that'd be cool. You'll have a good time with it. But if you're not really into having it that frequently, that's something that you may both need to tweak. Okay? All right, guys. So that's what it's like to live with me. Um, overall, I think it's fun. <laughs> I think it's fun, you know. Um, the Aquarius is also very spontaneous. So a lot of times Aquarius like to do spontaneous fun things. So when they're not working, when they're not busy, they may want to say, hey, let's let's fly to Mulan for, you know, the weekend. Or let's go to Atlantic City for the weekend or something like that. Um, the Aquarius may come up with a lot of spontaneous fun ideas out of nowhere too. It could be like one minute you're chilling and next minute they come down the steps with your bags packed and you're like where, where where are we going oh we're going on a trip come on dog <laughs> you know that kind of thing Aquarius have a tendency and, it, and these things will be fun but if you're a problem if you have a problem with spontaneity that could be a problem for you because the Aquarius will come up with those things some Aquarius will even like to surprise you with gifts and trips and things like that and it's cool when you're into that, but it's not cool when you're not a spontaneous person. If you're somebody that needs lots of notice or things like that, it might be a pain in your butt. <laughs> okay? All right, guys. That's what it's like to live with me. So, um... There it is. If you would like to get a tarot reading or if you want me to answer a question for you, please email me. If you want to send me a love donation, please do. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and pass it on to someone else who's wondering what is it like to live with an Aquarius. Underneath this video, I'm going to put all of my information so you can contact me and I will see you next time.